Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping back in again to try the weekly for one. Some of the scores were reset, so that's one of the reasons I want to try it. But also you are actually allowed to try multiple times. So I'll be trying to get the best score I possibly can for the next week. So let's give it a go. Of course, um, I, I'm, I do want to be picking a character that's going to be pretty good. I've heard the skeleton is a good one to go for. I don't know how true that is. But I reckon go with like maybe the Kraken pistol, a skeleton could be a good idea. So I'm going to do that, um, and we'll make sure we have crowns enabled so we can get inverted crown off the bat. Um, and yeah, we can go straight into the weekly. Although, even though the scoreboard got reset, the weekly timer didn't, surprising, which I kind of was expecting. But anyways, here we go. Let's jump in. We get our regal vision here. Um, with a skeleton, press F to drop a skull that can be destroyed by enemies. Upon taking lethal damage revive at the skull, you get one skull per level. If the skull is destroyed, gain two max HP. Resets to the end of the area. If it stays alive, overheal up to two. That's pretty goddamn good. So basically, we can just do that. Drop a skull down. And as long as it doesn't die, we revive and get some more HP on the next stage. So, pretty good. Of course, this guy can be a little troublesome with his low HP. But the reason I'm going for this guy is because of one of his ultras that allows us to pick two ultras from other characters. Which, yeah, so I've heard is, uh, is pretty meta. Pretty, pretty meta. So we'll be trying that if we can. Uh, of course, we're not going to have as easy as a time of Weaponsmith of getting the good weapons. But we will try our best. Of course, we will be taking the Crown of Inversion early on. And as is tradition, I will be taking Mood Swing. Um, mood Swing is just too good not to take. Uh, also, it does mean that Tentacles Stun, I believe it is. Um, which is pretty good right now. Um, stunning enemies means that while they're tentacled, they can't shoot. Also, I ought to be... Uh, Dropping my skull down whenever I can. Just to give myself a little bit of safety. I think that makes a lot of sense. We got ourselves an area down there. We don't really have the weapons to be putting weapon mods on right now. So I'm not that asked about that. Um, let's give it a go though. Let's give it a go. So I want to be just dropping that somewhere that's inconspicuous and unlikely to die. Oh my god, look at that. Dead glove. I've never heard of the Dead Glove before. I do kind of like the fact that this game doesn't tell you what stuff does, like what weapons do. And you're just kind of left to your own devices to figure it out. So remember if we die here, we're not like, it's not game over, we do get more attempts. Good stuff. We can put Kraken on this, I think that's a good idea for now. Grenade revolver. I'll take it, why not? Where's the portal? I hear it, but I don't see it. Okay. So then we heal too. Yeah, there you go. Um, This is kind of tricky, because I think adrenaline fuel is obviously really, really good. I think I'm going to go for adrenaline fuel here. This thing having tentacles on it is rather nice. Good, good. I don't know if they prioritize trying to damage my skull, you know. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. I don't know. Good old sheepies doing their thing. Double pop gun. I think so. We've got an inverted area that's opened up already over here. One thing about this guy is I should take extra feet at some point because he is hella slow. And we do not like that. Um, This is tricky because strong spirits obviously a good one. But I should really take Scarier Face. But I'll take Strong Spirit for now. We are trying to survive. Scar Scarier Face is one of those ones where it's very good. But I feel like once you get late game, it doesn't really matter that much. Because the weapons are just that strong. That like, oh dude, that's an assassin. I did not see that assassin. See, I'm already glad that I took it. I'm already glad that I took it. Remember, we have a thingy going on here. Mood Swing. So, Frost Weapons are even better. Good. We'll grab that real quick. I would like Plutonium Hunger this time around. That's something I really missed on our last run that we uh, tried to go the distance on. Did I put my skull down on the stage? I don't remember if I did or not. I'm going to... Oh, I was going to tap F there, but not a good place to tap F. Yeah, I'll tap F there. Just to get that overheal on the next stage. The overheal is important. Okay. Quickly go back. Slash Shotgun. 
I'll go with a slash shotgun. That seems pretty good. We're switching our weapons up quite a bit at the moment. I want to stick with stuff that's elemental, but I also want to try and make sure I'm grabbing what's what's good right now. Um, so yeah, I think we probably want to go for extra feet here. As much as I love eagle eyes, I think extra feet makes the most sense. We're not using our blood gamble that much right now, but I think that's okay. I just want the rads here. Good, good, good. That's all I want. We'll do our slash shotgun for a little bit. It's just one of those shotguns that's like, yeah, it's not the easiest to use, but it is pretty awesome. I can't remember how this thing works with the eagle eyes, but I imagine pretty well. You're pretty good with shotgun shoulders as well, I imagine. Yeah, there's a lot we can do on this run. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm in my, I'm in a new era. I'm in a new era of, uh, of nuclear throwing. This, this weekly has inspired me to try and actually do well, which isn't the easiest for me, but I'm gonna try my best. Get a nice, easy kill there on that guy. Magnetic crossbow sounds intriguing. I think I'll take that. Redirect when piercing. So it's kind of got burn marrow built in, or bolt marrow, should I say, built in. Interesting. I like the idea. Magnetic weapons are something that are new to me. I don't know if they're, like, new to this update or not. That's pretty cool. I like it. Right, we can keep our distance with this as well, which is nice. Yeah, it's kind of like slight built-in bolt marrow. It's not quite as good as bolt marrow. I imagine this thing with bolt marrow would be pretty gnarly. But taking weapon-specific mutations, I don't know how I feel about that, because... In the late game, how useful are they going to be? But Bolt Marrow is one that I feel like is always useful, so maybe I shouldn't think that way about that. Right, through we go again. Um, This is tricky, because uh, Boiling Veins is also really, really nice here. Um, It just keeps us safe. I think I'm going to take it instead of uh, Rhino Skin. Rhino Skin is potentially later. Okay, so I don't actually think it redirects with a purpose. I think it just redirects. I thought it specifically redirected towards an enemy, but it's looking like it just generally redirects, which is not as good, but still. I mean, so far you can see it's, uh, it's clearing out rooms pretty darn well. Quickly grab that. We got Lightning Striker. We'll take whatever that is. And we'll go for radiation on this thing. Why not? Right, where's the last enemy? Ah, it's you guys. Uh, lightning Striker is just a big old lightning gun. And I'm pretty sure Mood Swing does affect lightning. Lightning stuns. Yeah, that's good. Um, we'll probably go for Shotgun on this thing, because why the hell not? We'll come and kill these guys again, because they are just free rads. There you go. Beautiful stuff. We're already level 7, so we're doing pretty well on leveling up. Um, auto burst. <laughs> burst weapons fire 50% more free shots. That, see, this is, this is potentially pretty good. But impact wrist is really good, so is tough shell. I'm going to try it out. It's a bit of a gamble because, as I said, weapon-specific ones, I'm going to be changing weapons so much that I don't know how valuable they'll be. The, the dragon here is, uh, isn't going to die quite as quick as I, as I would hope, I wouldn't think. It is definitely firing more than this is working so far. Yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, died pretty quick there. I'm going to stick with the same character, though. Um, we are... Wow, okay. We are... Um, we're doing pretty well <laughs> on the weekly. We are second. Apparently, no one else's scores have been logged as of yet. Um, but the person's in first has quite a few more kills than I do. But we'll be trying that again. So we've got the weekly still on, right? Yeah, and we'll be going back in as Skelly Bob here. Because I did quite like the way that he played. Where the hell is he? I've lost him. There he is. I'm still happy with the Kraken gun to start out with. We get our Regal Vision here. Not bad. Need to use that more often. I didn't use that on the stage, and it was my undoing. I could have, I could have saved myself there if I'd have used my regal vision, as I should have done, but I didn't, and I feel bad about it. 
and you're allowed to make me feel bad about it. See? See? Right there. Right there is why we need to use it. Just died, but it saved my life. But that last stage, I, all, I, all I gotta do is just, uh, the moment I get onto a stage, hide somewhere, press F. It ain't too difficult. It ain't too difficult, really. Again, Crown Inversion, really good here. Honestly, Mood Swing, if you keep showing up, I'm gonna keep taking you. I don't care that you're not the best mutation out there. You're my favourite mutation. I love you. Drop our skull down. Yeah, I think for the safety of it, this Regal Vision's really, really good. An early Big Bandit fight, why not? I think the, uh, the, the morph weapons do quite a lot of damage as well. That's another thing that I've noticed about them that makes them quite good. I don't exactly know where, why I went down here. Maybe I... I don't know. Maybe there's more rads down here. Maybe there's more kills available. I'm not entirely sure. I just thought it would be a good idea. And I'm sticking with that thought process. I did almost die there. And again, didn't put my skull down. Because I'm stupid. This inverted area with this much health is uh, not the best. Yeah, I already died. Oh, uh, uh. I, I genuinely have no idea what on earth just killed me. What was that? What on earth was that? Unfortunately, not doing anywhere near as well as I did on my previous attempt here, but... It's just a bit of false starts is all. Yeah, like, there was some sort of, like, little midges that came out of that jellyfish that I've never seen before, or at least don't remember seeing. And they came at me with some, some ferocity and speed. I keep getting this old rifle, like, every single time. Dude. Is it... Is it just the case that it's a set... A set of specific mutations every time is this seeded is this is this why i'm getting the same stuff is this i didn't realize it was seeded for some reason i mean it makes sense when it's a weekly for it to be a competition where everyone plays the same seed but i, I don't know that just didn't occur to me for some reason yeah it definitely is because yeah we're getting this, the exact same weapons every time Although this feels like a different... Yeah, look, look at those little midges. They're way... I'll be honest, like, cool idea, but they're way too small for this game. There, there ain't no enemies that are that small. They are way too small for this game. That's unnatural. They're going to catch people out, and that ain't a good thing. Right, through here. So we'll take extra feet this time around for that extra movement speed. Dude, the poison midges? The poison midges are insane. I don't know how this weapon's been so goddamn efficient with this ammo, but I'm liking it. Wow, okay, I got teleported back. Dude, look at that! That's some absolute bull. They need to be way larger. They're way too small. They're like almost impossible to see. I did not see that guy coming at all. I don't think that's very fair. Auto toxic crossbow, that's a very early way to get a weapon like that, and I guess just put toxic on top of it, because why not? Cool. Okay, so we kind of we can kind of take the same mutations every time here, which is nice. Um
This is really, really, really good with uh, with Mood Swing, actually. So we know which way we're coming from now on. Where's the big fish? There he is. Dude, look at that. That's just such no. That's such poo-poo stinky. That's not, it's not okay, game. I'm not happy with that at all. Very much liking this toxic crossbow, those things kind of amazing. And it like clears out most of the toxic for you as well, so you haven't got as much of a risk of running into it. Not all of it, mind you, not all of it, but a good amount of it. Um Probably just go with Rhino skin this time around. It's an electric zapper this time around. Didn't like that uh, that rude little shot he got in there. Dude, the lightning dragon is insane. I I just want to say I don't know how I'm meant to beat this guy, but that I beat him, so I'll shut up. Lightning Striker again, I'll take that, that was pretty good before. And it's a burst weapon, so I can take Tails End if I want to work around with that. Obviously, I shouldn't be putting my skull in open areas like that, but I've done it now, so... What you gonna do? So, I, I really ought to be taking Bolt Marrow with, uh, with, with my first mutation, to be honest. Although, then I maybe wouldn't get Mood Swing, so Mood Swing's better, I still think. Good. I hear you, Portal. Gimme, gimme. Oh, it was an inverted. Oopsie. I missed that. Um, so in this situation, let's take Tough Shell. Swarm again. I like Swarm. Then I guess maybe we'll go for... Um, let's go for Courtyard. It's a bit risky, I've realized. It's a bit risky. But I'm just kind of like, let's just go for it today. Let's just, just see what we can do, take some risks. Especially now that we know that we've got a few attempts at this. It's not one and done. And there's a level is up faster as well, which is really, really nice. Excuse me, good sir. Are you okay? The, the big poison build, even the swarm dealing progressive damage over time. We've got it all going on. Beautiful stuff. Oh, a bunch of fly boys. No thank you, fly boys. These guys are going to be annoying, so I'm going to use this thing. There you go, that worked out pretty nicely. Weapon drop? Yeah, I guess we'll go weapon drop on this thing. Okay. Just make sure to use our ability. Press F. It's somewhere hidden at the start of the stage. One moment. Yeah, we are good to go. Apologies. But yeah, we got our skull down. Let's just pay attention to what the hell's going on around us now. Oh, a shotgun. Nah, I still think what we've got is better. Ow, that's a bad hit. Thank you for the level 8. Try 
trying my best to get the poison in where it's needed, but it's not... There is a poison frog over there. Well, just a frog, should I say. Ah, now this guy, I don't know how we're going to deal with in terms of damage. Because we're in a very, very close space, which I wasn't expecting for this dude, I'll be honest. Well, that worked out pretty well, actually. I didn't actually manage to finish this stage in terms of killing the rest of the enemies, so... There's still, like, a lot of other stuff to deal with here. There is going to be another crown boy shortly. And remember, he does a big old nuke when he dies. That's the main thing we got to remember. Catches me out quite often, that does. Just get a few of these in there. Don't like that. Oh, man. This area is a bit crazy. Level 9 already, that's good. See, he spawns at just the worst time. And in, like, the worst space. Yeah, that's a bad hit. Okay, there's a little Nuki. We got him. Little Nuki is taken care of. Take the multi crown. Charge Lance. Interesting. I think we go for extra frost on this. Oh no, we've not got frost already on it, have we? No. Either way, put some frost on it. Cool. Well, that was good. Um, right, multi crown. I don't even know what to take. Apparently, there's a yeah, there's a secret with right click here. Whenever you use your active, take one damage and gain some ammo. That seems kind of meh. Um, while in combat, health slowly resets to four. Not good for us. Um, I never know what the second crown I'd want even is. Your health cannot go below two unless you take a lethal hit. Your health cannot reach higher than one below your max. Hmm. Your health cannot reach higher than one below your max. Does that mean I can't overheal? I'm going to try that out. That might mean I can't overheal, which wouldn't be great. Um, let's go with Hypersomnia here. Um, and let's go with Boiling Veins here, I think. It's occasionally infused rads and then drop more rads. It's not super useful for us on either of our weapons here. Splinter could be there. Um, Splinter instead of rads, I think. I don't know, that, this crown might be good, it might not be good. I'm just, why not try things out at the moment? We're, we're experimenting. We're seeing what's what. Let's just keep her going. Snake gun. Don't think that's going to do too much for us. Unfortunately, really, really bad stage for Hypersomnia. Like, nothing spawned near us. How much health does he have? I never remember. Not, not much, apparently, because he died very quickly there. Okay, we should be pretty good here. There's much going on up there. I'll go check. Waza pistol. Probably not much better than the lightning striker, I wouldn't think. Thank you for not throwing your car at me. That is very nice of you. Yeah, we're not getting the best, like, Hypersomnia spawns here, I've got to say. 
I need to be using this as well. I keep forgetting to place my goddamn skull. Shotgun lance, interesting. Oh, come on now, that was a bit BS. Okay. Be a bit more careful here. Mr. Electric Zappy Zappy, no thank you. Hey, we got our Ultra here. Director Eraser, potentially kind of good. Still pretty happy with what I've got going on, even if they are dangerous. Okay, so, reroll all your mutations, get patience. Um, which one is it? I, th I think it's this one. Let's have a look, see. Okay, gain two lives, whatever. Immune more stationary, uh, that's fine, whatever, don't care. Fail blood gambles will cost five ammo. Um, replace your active with blood splatter. Um, no, it's this one. Reroll all your mutations. Get patience as an extra choice every time. When you loop, can get an ultra again. I think that's the one we want. Isn't? I thought maybe I don't have it unlocked. I thought there was one where we could grab an ultra from any character. Is that not the one? I'm gonna try this anyways. We get a regal vision. So. What do we want to go for here? Second stomach, I think, is good for us. Mood swing still very good. Bolt marrow right now is seeming pretty fitting. Eagle eyes. Rhino skin. Um... Think I'm gonna go for patience with that one. Plutonium hunger, yes. Strong spirit, yes. Okay, but now we've got bolt marrow and stuff, so I'm curious to see how this goes. We don't have to shell this time though, which scares me a bit. Good. Mini incinerator. Still, the lightning striker. It came early. But it, it's putting in the work, baby. It's putting in the work. Okay. Here we go. See, now there's tough shell. I probably want to take tough shell, I think. Just for the extra protection. See, now that's not doing enough damage for me. I ought to be killing those guys in, like, two or three ammo. <laughs> it's good enough, but, like, I'd like it to be better. I do like the fact that it's basically full auto, though. It's very nice. Put my skull down. I keep forgetting to put my goddamn skull down. Okay. Scroll down again. I like the look of whatever gun that is. Ah, just a lightning rifle. Damn, I'm just not getting the high tier weapons I'm looking for. Hopefully the loop, like once we're on loop, we'll start finding the real crazy stuff. But for now, we're not really finding much crazy stuff at all. Almost killed myself there. Almost. Car thrower? Pretty risky. Okay. Here we go. I guess we just put this there. It probably won't survive long. Split blade gun. Hmm. That sounds pretty fun. Split blade gun. But it is cursed, so if it's bad, 
I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna try it out. It is the same ammo type, though, which worries me. <laughs> Certainly worries me. Right, let's go. Let's see how this thing does. Hello? There you go, wake up. Thank you. No? Wake up. Took a while. Look who's finally awake. It seems pretty good. I'm so glad I have plutonium longer this time around. Unfortunately, now I am just like a lemon waiting for ammo. I was very near to killing him there. Didn't get much ammo coming into this though, so I'm not best pleased about that. At least I can use that there. That was a really bad hit right off the bat there. Again, put my skull down. It'll probably get destroyed, but... Okay. Nice and easy. We got through it. Just about. Okay, we're into this area. We've only got 22 at the moment, so not tons. Um, plus one crown. That's kind of interesting, so we can get three crowns. Reroll weapon to another the same tier. Ultra chest. Reduce IDPD vans. That's what we did last time. That was a pretty good call, to be honest. Basically, one loop without dealing with vans is pretty nice. I think I'll keep the rest of my, my currency, to be honest. Reasonably happy with that. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm confused. I sw- Is it- I thought it was this one that, that allowed you to get other mutes, but... Okay, guess not. Um... Let's have a look at what this is. Replaces your active with blood splat. You can spawn blood towards nearby corpses. Throw but increase the amount of blood. Blood can destroy all types of projectiles. Blood can go through walls. I guess we try that out then, don't we? Okay, I like that. That seems pretty good. I like it. It seems even better with the eagle eyes, maybe. I don't know if that is what's making it better, but it seems like it. That was close. Ballista, heavy shovel. Ah, don't matter. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Just a, a very nice way to destroy projectiles. Fuck her off with your teleporting bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. That seems good. Why is there even a point to a heavy crossbow spawning at this point? Man, this assassin. He's the worst. I think I killed him. Looks like it. Blood wall. Blood wall. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll take the blood wall. I'm going blood weapons here because I've just got a blood themed build and it's a lot of safety.
efficient heavy slugger. I don't know what's efficient about it. I don't have um, shotgun shoulders. I don't think it's really worth it right now. Flame? Yeah, why not? Right, let's check this out. Got a good few of them going, that's nice. We can go and do the challenge as well to convert um, bullets. I never really know which one's the best to go for, but I guess I'll try it out. I don't know what that is. That's maybe new. But this is the challenge thing over here, which shouldn't be too hard with the, the setup we've got going on, so I'm just going to do it. With a blood weapon like this. And it's just so easy to hit everything as well. I don't know why I'm trying to pick up the rads so much. Like, it literally doesn't matter anymore. Little turtle friends. Good. The range on this is pretty good too. The fire rate on that thing is not good. That's what my worry was there. Running out of ammo for that thing. But there you go, we did it. Okay, so in here, the question is, what what is actually good? <laughs> right, hold up one sec. I'm going to go check and, and see if I can find out what might be good for us. Oh, it didn't pause. It did not pause before. I apologize, guys. There was a point where I paused my video, and it probably didn't actually pause. Why is it not pausing? Is my pause button broken? Hold up, guys. Hold up. What is happening here? Just apologize if you can see my screen here. One second. Why is my pause button not working? Hotkeys? Yeah, what the hell? Okay, it's just not pausing, so I guess we're not checking anything. Honestly, that probably happened earlier, and it was annoying for you guys. Right, God, I'm trying to re-full screen my game here. One second. It's just not doing it. There you go. Why isn't it? Why is my recording not pausing? That's really frustrating, because I definitely paused earlier, and it's probably really frustrating for you guys. Um, I don't know what would be best here. Shotgun splinter into Electra. Could be fun. Could be fun. I do like something into Kraken, though. Kraken's always my favorite. Um, so going, like, bullet into Kraken would be really nice, but I don't know if that's actually something that, that is available. I'm not seeing many Krakens over here. I'm only seeing... Lightning into Kraken, or um, or Kraken into melee, which isn't really ideal. Um, plasma into Bolt is kind of good. Shotgun. Shotgun Splinter into Electra. I'm going to try that out. That seems potentially kind of crazy. That seems potentially kind of crazy. But what's this? When health is below um, max, reduce weapon, uh, ammo, and rad cost by 10%. Otherwise, increase. Ooh, that's pretty good with uh, this crown here, actually. So let's let's go for... Let's go for them two. Seems like a good combo. Yeah, I gotta say, apologies if there was like a, a solid like five minutes where I was just silent earlier in the card. I'm gonna have to go check and make sure I didn't say anything weird, because I'm pretty sure I, I was speaking to someone. I don't, know, I don't remember what I did actually, but... So I need a shotgun or splinter weapon. That's not gonna do much for us. Right, just keep them at bay. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many big guys here. I was not expecting that. Super Penetrator? Hell yeah. Flame Bazooka. Yeah, these guys should be pretty easy to handle. You need to chill out, my guy. Yeah, that thing's not really doing enough for me right now. That's the director. The original director. Ah, that's not very good. That's not what I thought it'd be as well at all. I'm very worried about my ammo situation with these weapons right now. I need a better weapon. Yo yo minigun. That seems potentially pretty good. That flame bazooka seems pretty goddamn gnarly as well. Doom lobber. I like the idea of Nah, I'm gonna go with Blood Wall and Doom Lobber, I think. That's gonna be my that's gonna be my combo right now. I had a feeling a Doom Lobber would be better than this, but it's doing okay. Ammo is my major concern right now. Ghost Blade. We finally found a good melee weapon. Destroy squares. Hell yeah. Does that just do mean people that are boring? Do you know what I mean? when, when someone's boring, you can't square. It just destroys people that are, that are kind of dull. I like that idea. But Ghostblade having a melee as a backup is pretty important for us here. I have my little skull up there. Unfortunately, this melee, while good, is incredibly slow. I don't really have the weaponry for the job here. Charge flat cannon, not the best. Put Kraken on that, why not? Bouncer cannon? Oh, okay, that could be pretty good. I know Blood Wall has served as well, but I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try that out. I'm just a bit scared that I don't have something to give me some ultimate levels of protection right now. I don't know what that is, but I like the idea of it. It's Blood, so... Wow, that ran out of ammo very fast. Still need my ghost blade. How's this? That's kind of good. That's kind of good. That's my blood wall there. The termite infector tri trip fire. I don't even know what to... That's kind of cool. Okay, this seems pretty good. Termite Infect, or whatever it's called. It's a pretty fast melee. Reasonable size on the, the fire. Does good damage. I like it. Okay, we got we got something good going on here. Got another bolt weapon here, which we've been looking for. These fire chains seem like they could be... Uh, Pretty gnarly. Kind of forgot about you there, boss. Not really been paying attention to the boss here. Also, flare shotgun. 
It's pretty, pretty good too. I like that. Frost Dragon. Defensively, Frost Dragon speaks to me, but I'm liking this Flare Gun more. I'm pretty sure that's Plasma, right? Is that... Is this... Is this getting... Is this Electro, sorry? That's firing. I think it is. Proving to be a pretty good weapon. Not quite as defensively strong as that other double-sided katana thing we had last time, but... And then, yeah, for the big groups, we get out this thing. That kind of wrecks everything in its sight. Hello, good sir. Don't like you, policeman. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Okay. This thing's doing okay, but that plasma bolt does not deal much damage. There's a dude on a merped again. Nail machine gun, a little bit late for that. Really, you're going to spawn on my skull. So I can kind of just leave these guys to do their business a little bit, right? Poison guy, we got to be careful for them. My skull got destroyed. Ow. Bad hit. I see a big guy. I know you're coming for me. Smart minigun. Smart minigun's not that good, really. It's decent. This thing's so much better, but the ammo consumption on it is just absolutely ludicrous. Do something to help out with that. Ooh, here we go. We got some ultra weapons here. That's nice. Super Ion Cannon. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's take that for now, shall we? Ooh, we got an inverted area. That's definitely not why what didn't want. Holy shit. That's not how I was expecting that to work, and I don't know why. I like it, though. That's pretty awesome. The fact that we get full control over where that goes is uh, nothing short of amazing. That minigun is back. And I can stay in relative safety, safety while I'm doing it as well, which is rather nice. Lightning drone launcher. Lightning drone launcher. Let's put some crack on it and see how it does. I was having a hard time figuring out where that guy was, but I'm going to give this the benefit of the doubt and try it out. <sighs> so this explosive flail is good, but it uses ammo. Not what we need right now. Where are you, last enemy? Of course it's the purple. Come on, guys. Get to it. Not the brightest of the bunch, are you? Is that not it? Are we, are we ready to go or not? Okay, we are good. 
I don't know how to feel about this run. I'm still apprehensive. Switching weapons a bit too much as well. I still don't know about my crowns either. My crowns kind of worry me a little bit. The sparse grenade launch is kind of smexy. Do we have, um, what's it called? We don't have the explosion protection, I don't think. No, we don't. So I can't really take that. Right, I guess we gotta hope this lightning thing's good. And also, unfortunately, fight a much harder version of the throne, because I'm silly. I'm a silly goose boy. Holy fuck, I have put myself in a position here. I'm so fucked. Dude, you're getting too close, my guy. He's gonna ram me into the goddamn wall. He ran me into the wall. <laughs> Why did he not stop moving? <laughs> oh man, that wasn't very good at all, really. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how we did. Uh, we're second, but I don't think we'll be second for long. Um, I'm gonna try and get that another go on another episode, but I hope you guys did enjoy that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.